Hi everybody, I'm Colton Tykro here at Porsche Center Calgary and we have a very special video for you today. If you've been watching our channel for, uh, for a while, uh, you will have noticed every so often we put out a video about a special exclusive manufacturer piece of inventory. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, if you're not aware, when you're building a Porsche, there's a whole lot of options of course that you can do. We're very well known for the kind of degree that you can customize our cars. Uh, and some of the options Porsche calls I options, which are more kind of the typical things that most people will put on, on the vehicle. And then there are the exclusive manufacturer options. Those ones are a little bit more, more rare, more exclusive, hence the name. And they're the things that you can you can kind of change and tweak to really customize your vehicle beyond what most manufacturers would allow you to do. So every few months we will take one and uh, option a little bit more indulgently and, uh, and tell you a little bit about it and kind of emphasize uh, the things that you can do that not everybody does. So behind me here is a 2022 911 Targa 4. So this is the, um, that's kind of the base that we used for, for this example that we have with us today. And I'm going to walk around it and point out some of those exclusive options, some of the really cool stuff that we put on this one. Uh, so for starters, as I mentioned, a Targa 4, and uh, we decided to select the chalk color. It's been a super popular color. It looks looks great, really, on, on any of our cars, uh, and definitely suits this build well. We went for kind of a monochromatic type idea, the chalk, uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of black accents throughout, uh, and then we brought a little bit more chalk onto the interior, which we'll get to in a minute, but I'll start on the outside. So why don't we start kind of where we are up front here. You have your headlights are the um, the PDLS or Porsche Dynamic Lighting System and Matrix headlights. So they're the top level headlight, but the exclusive part is that they're black in the surroundings here. We have another vehicle to the side and I'll point out kind of the differences there. That one has the, the conventional look and they're, they're a great headlight. They look cool, but they just aren't quite as special as, uh, as when you go for the tinted look and it allows you to tie in, you know, just as we're talking about all the other black accents around the car, tie that into the headlight as well and give it kind of a more cohesive overall look. Uh, one of my favorite things that we did uh, with this vehicle is the sport design package in gloss black. So if you take a look at the front bumper, you can see some of those details. When you go with the standard bumper, all of this in here is kind of just a flat piece of unpainted uh, black plastic, effectively. When you go with the sport design package, you get these painted bits that kind of come out, makes it look a little bit sportier. And when you get that package in gloss black, now you're getting these veins painted gloss black, as well as the front lip here, all gloss black. Gives it a really, really, really cool look. Beside us over here, again, we have an example of that standard front bumper. And then, Moving around the car, let's talk about the wheels a little bit. So these ones are the uh, 20 slash 21 inch RS Spider wheels. What I mean by that is uh, the rears on the 992s are, are 21 and the fronts are, are 20. So they're staggered now on all 992s. Uh, so they're the RS Spider design, but in keeping with that kind of, you know, black accent uh, theme that we're going with, these are finished in the satin black, another exclusive option that you can, you can select. And then walking a little bit further back on the side mirror, Another option we did here was paint all of this body color. So behind us on this example, we have the standard side mirror, which is unpainted black plastic underneath. Most people wouldn't even notice. That's perfectly fine. But if you want to just dial it up, make it a little bit more special, a little bit more cohesive, you can do this and paint that full mirror base the same color as the body. I think it looks awesome. And then you see another aspect of that gloss black sport design package in this lip along the bottom down here gloss black to match those accents I just pointed out on the front. And now at kind of the midpoint of the car, the iconic Targa bar, the standard finish for that would be silver, uh, which yeah, you know, looks, looks great. You certainly don't have to change it, but uh, Porsche gives you the option to make that satin black, which ties in of course beautifully with the satin black wheels. Looks awesome. Let's continue around the back of the car. Lots of cool stuff to look at back here. The sport design package, I think to, to me, this is where it's most obvious, most impactful. Quite a different looking rear end to what you get um, as standard on, on the 911. So if you look kind of, I guess this area is where it's most obvious. Generally the license plate is further down and you just have, you know, kind of a, a round rear bumper here. There's not a whole lot going on there, to be honest, on the standard car. Uh, whereas when you do this, moves the plate up and you get a lot of different detailing in here because we optioned this one in gloss black. All of that stuff is gloss as well, which looks great. And then the sport exhaust is optioned on this car, uh, but we did that and then changed the pipes to be black as well to again, continue that theme. And then moving up a little bit from the bottom, we've got the Porsche and 
911 in gloss black as well. There's lots of different kind of badging options that you have. Standard would be silver Porsche and silver 911 Targa 4 designation. With this one, we optioned to minimize that a little bit, give it a more of more of kind of a subtle look just with 911, uh, which personally is my preference, but as with all of these things, it really comes down to personal preference and what do you like. You could keep the full designation and make that black or body color or leave it all silver. Lots of different stuff you can do. You can also just delete it all together. If we look at this other 911 we have beside us here, that one has the standard Porsche in silver and nothing along the bottom. No sport design and no sport tailpipe. So that's kind of the standard look compared to the heavily customized one we've done on this build. As well, you'll notice on that vehicle, you have the tail lights in the red, the conventional tail lights, whereas here we did the exclusive design tail lights, making those all clear. And again, fitting that kind of monochromatic, um, you know, design philosophy we had with this Targa. So that pretty well sums up everything outside. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside the car now. All right, let's take a deeper dive on into the interior of this car, probably my favorite part. Uh, so we started with a full leather interior, as a lot of people will with the 911. Uh, but we, of course, this being an exclusive example, dialed everything up a little bit further. So we did the contrasting stitching package. As you can see, lots of contrasting stitching in uh, in the chalk color to match the exterior. You get great stitching kind of around, around the seat, as well as on the inside of the steering wheel, which is one of my favorites, even on that kind of knee pad spot on the center console, get contrasting stitching there, and the details on the door looks awesome. You can stop there, and you've got a great little bit of contrast without um, going too far. Uh, I like going a little bit further, so in this example, uh, we did contrasting seat centers as well in the chalk to just dial up that contrast that much further. And then another subtle detail that we did is the seat belts to match, so you've got those seat belts in chalk as well. And then, you know, those options we don't see all, all the time, but they are relatively common. What I would say is uncommon that we did here that I think worked quite well is the painted trim. So the trim through the center of the dash, carrying over onto the door, as well as the center console in chalk painted to match the exterior of the car. I think that looks phenomenal. And I, I like to do it either in kind of a, a subtle color like this in a chalk or, or maybe a black, uh, either do it that way or when you have a really kind of extreme color, maybe, you know, we did it on an orange car once, for example, we had a lava orange car and then we did lava orange painted trim and it really brings that exciting color inside. So it's not just the people you drive by that get to experience it, you can in a more kind of intimate way as well, which is really cool. And one of my favorites is the the gear lever. We did the uh, the exclusive uh, aluminum gear lever, which is just, it's a really subtle thing. It's a small piece, but it makes a massive difference. I often point out to uh, to our clients, you know, when you're deciding where to spend the money in our vehicles, um, the stuff that you are touching, physically interacting with all the time, that's probably where the money's best spent. Uh, some of it, you know, you, you can upgrade and it's nice, but you may never actually feel or, or, you know, personally appreciate it. With that, you are using that gear lever all the time. It's much nicer feeling. You're touching the leather. It's a really cool option that I think a lot of people overlook. I think that pretty well sums up the, the interior of this car. And so, you know, pretty much that's our car, our exclusive example. I hope we were able to point out some unique exclusive options that maybe you hadn't seen before with uh, with this vehicle. Uh, if that kind of stuff intrigues you, if you want a little bit more insight about, you know, a potential 911 build and, and what options might be available, please do give us a call, pay us a visit. We, we really love doing that. It's one of the best parts about our job is, uh, you know, sitting down with a client and really making their dream a, a reality, which is what the exclusive program is all about. Thanks so much for watching.